Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and I never thought I would be reviewing Sapphire Mouse Skates, but here we are in 2022, where the mouse skate scene is more innovative than the actual mouse scene. So I'm going to be comparing these pure synthetic sapphire dots um, to PTFE skates, the new Pulsar Super Glides, because these come in for these five dots at the price of $50. To clarify, I did get sent out two units to review, one I've been testing for a few weeks now and one that I plan to give away in the future, but I'm obviously still going to talk about the price on such a just out there item. I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, the $50 price applies to this ruby sapphire colorway. You guys can have the fucking sapphire color discourse in the comments. I can't actually go to their website because they do have a section that explains the differences in the price, but I mean, honestly, is it worth paying $20 more for blue sapphires as opposed to the red ones? No. Is it worth paying $50 for sapphires to begin with? That is what the rest of this video is for. But to give a quick, honest answer, if you are spending $50 on your mouse setup looking to improve, I would not spend that on sapphire skates when you can get an artisan pad which will have a much more drastic difference for nearly the same price. Uh, we were talking about $50 mouse skates, which is just absurd. I know there are going to be people shilling the sapphire skates. I've seen them in like various places. And yeah, it's a, it's a flex item. You have gemstones on the bottom of your mouse. I understand the appeal, but they just really aren't anything special. Um, which is shocking to me. I thought sapphires, I was like, this is going to be the best thing ever. And I do think there are a few problems that come up. One of them is the hardness, um, which is just going to be a feature of sapphire because it's such a hard material. Um, these will sink into any Artisan X soft pad. I would presume a lot of people in the market for something like this have an Artisan pad of some kind. And if it is an X soft variant, just watch out because when you put in pressure, it's going to feel unusable and it will just sink in more than anything you've used before. You can see when I do the same pressure test with the Phantom that it sinks in a bit, but just not as much because the stock skates are thinner and just not as hard. So these will perform better on mouse pads that have less plushiness to them, firmer mouse pads, I guess. Um, than Artisan X Soft, which is really the only thing I encountered issues with. Another potential problem is LOD issues, since these are thicker than typical mouse skates, 0.8 millimeters at the edges and 1.1 millimeters thick at the center. So if your mouse has ultra low LOD, like one millimeter or below, um, like the Starlight 12 by default, you probably are gonna wanna raise it to two millimeters. That's what I did at least, and since then I haven't had any tracking issues. And those could be complete non-problems for you if you just have a firm mouse pad and use a mouse with higher LOD, but it's still worth mentioning regardless. But now getting to how these skates actually feel, on a mouse pad like the Hien Mid, it's not what I was expecting. It is a very rough and textured glide where the dynamic friction, like your actual motions of the mouse, are very controlled, which was surprising. So I would say of all of the glass skate options, these are the most controlled out there, or these aren't glass skates, but the hard mouse skate options, these are the most controlled. Um, I don't know if this is something I really want, just like a really scrapey feeling glide. Um, I would say that PTFE is generally smoother. You can see those were the Pulsar Super Glides. And yeah, PTFE just has a bit more glide to it. These come to a much more abrupt stop. And I just actually prefer the feeling of the stock final house skates compared to these premium aftermarket skates. And it will obviously come down to preference. But I mean, I think that just goes to show that you are not really paying for a performance increase. On a more lightly textured pad like the Aqua Control 2, you can kind of see the same thing. It's not a fast glide. It feels dense and almost makes moving the mouse feel more heavy compared to the stock PTFE skates. And if you're wondering what the super glides look like, once again, like not crazy fast or anything, but significantly more speed to them than the Sapphire skates. So when I mentioned that sometimes the glide will feel dense and sort of heavier, that reminded me of the actual weight. Um, these do not increase the weight of the mouse. When I weighed my Starlights, they were both 49 grams with the Sapphire skates and with the stock skates. 
So that is seriously nothing to be concerned about. But getting back to the friction, it seems like the trade-off with these is slightly lower static friction and then just higher dynamic friction and a sort of just clunkier experience in general. Um, so I sort of look at these as the sky pad of mouse feet where it's like super premium. The selling point is that you can use it forever. They're never gonna degrade, they're never gonna scratch. They provide all sorts of adhesive so you can put it on whatever mouse you want in the future. So there is that selling point of the Sapphire Skates being an end game product. They're a universal fit. So you could theoretically use these on any mouse you get in the future and they shouldn't ever wear down. But in my time testing these, which has been over two weeks, I haven't had any issues with consistency or these slowing down, of course, unless I'm pressing into a soft mouse pad. Another thing to mention is that these won't be affected by humidity or moisture because Sapphire is actually hydrophobic, which I thought was one of the cooler features. I found that out when reading through their website. It's worth a read. I do find the product interesting and I gave them a fair shot, but it's just it, nearly impossible to justify the price when there are multiple types of glass skates available for under $25 that have low initial friction, just like the Sapphire skates, but also lower dynamic friction and just a bit more enjoyable of an experience. But this will vary based on pad to pad, user to user. But I don't know, when I heard that these were diamond polished sapphires and just felt how smooth they are, I presumed that the experience was gonna be smooth, but these are very textured, just similar to PTFE dots or something. Um, so the performance wasn't really what I was expecting and definitely not. <laughs> like significantly better than either PTFE or glass. At the end of the day, this is a very niche product by nature, and now it's an option for the enthusiasts out there. It's hard to recommend. I'm not going to give it the seal of approval. They also did offer for me to join their affiliate program, and I was not interested in any commission, so I set the discount to the maximum I could, which is 10%. So you can use code boards to save 10%. I don't benefit at all. It just saves you a few dollars. Go get yourself some fucking vitamin D, man. If you want the Sapphire Skates to play fast, I would recommend using a pad like the Shinnenkai or a Cordura pad. I'm not sure if these will actually wear down the Shinnenkai, but as you can see, um, it plays very fast on this pad. You can see a Super Glides and PTFE, which is definitely the most controlled. So on pads like the Strider and the Hien, the Sapphires are just going to be really rough, really textured, which gives you a lot of control. It's an interesting experience, but not one that I preferred over PTFE. And on standard cloth control pads, it's pretty slow um, and dense, like I mentioned with the Vaxi PA. Some mouse pads that I found to be a good middle ground, though, were the Lethal Gaming Gear Venus and the Artisan Zero Soft. I recently got a Zero X Soft, and it seriously just sinks into the Zero X Soft. Um, but those were some of the pads I enjoyed using these the most with. Probably won't be keeping them on, but I might just cop the blue ones in the future just for the meme. Um, but that's going to be all for this review. If you enjoyed, let me know. Um, do be sure to comment what you think of Sapphire Skates. Like and sub if you enjoyed. Peace.